All right, so we have a little bit more of a complicated one to condense here. I have 1 half times log of x plus 1 plus 2 log of x minus 1, close my bracket, plus 6 log x. So we're going to just basically do this just like with order of operations, PEMDAS. I want to work my parentheses first, this part first. Well, I see that I have a 2 here. That 2 has got to go up as an exponent. So I have 1 half of log of x plus 1 plus log of x minus 1 squared plus 6 log x. You know what? Let's move this 6 up. So we already know that this 6 also goes up, so this will be x to the 6 power. Alright, so now we know that addition turns into multiplication. So I have 1 half of log of x plus 1, x minus 1 quantity squared, plus log x to the 6th power. Alright, now we know that this right here is an exponent, so that's going to come up here. And we also know 1 half is a square root, so I'm just going to write this as a square root. So I have log to the square root, that's this 1 half, of x plus 1 times x minus 1 squared plus log x to the 6th. Now this means I can multiply. I'm going to do a multiplication. So I have log of x to the 6 to the square root. And I'm going to break these up into two individual square roots because I can. x plus 1, I don't need this parenthesis, times the square root of x minus 1 squared. Well, the reason why I did that is because right here, I have that rule where I have n, the nth root, to x to the n equals x if n is odd and the absolute value of x if n is even. So I can actually simplify this even more. So since here this is a 2 and this is a 2, my n is even, so this actually turns into the absolute value. So I would have the log of x to the 6 times the absolute value of x minus 1 times the square root of x plus 1. Now, if I give you a domain restriction, which all logs have a domain restriction, because we're going to have to say that all of this has to be greater than 0, so in this case, x has got to be greater than 0, because you just don't want to do a logarithm with a negative because it would be dealing with complex and we don't do that in high school. So in this case, if this is always greater than zero, we still need this because if I had a 0.5 here, then we've got a bit of an issue. So we'll just leave it like this. And here is my simplified answer. Now I won't give you anything for grades or anything where you're going to have the absolute value. It was one of those problems I was working it and I saw it and I'm like, I'm going to do it. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezing. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics.